What is going on YouTube? You are here with the Prez, bringing you another talk over video. You're going to just see straight work today. Today's video is going to be a straight calisthenic chest workout. We're really going to be focusing on muscle building principles, meaning we're really going to be focusing on stimulating the target muscle group, not working max effort with trying to recruit max motor units where we would be doing it for training strength with heavy loads. So remember, when hypertrophy training, you really want to focus on mind-muscle connection, slowing down the repetition, feeling the eccentric portion of the rep, and really connecting to that said target muscle group, like I said, and we're doing chest today. So we started the routine off, or I started the routine off for that matter, with weighted dips, and I'm only using a 50-pound kettlebell, and I'm making the reps hard enough so I'm falling within that 12 to 15 rep range. And on sets one and set two, I catch a nice 13 reps, really focusing on a slow eccentric, locking out at the top, but keeping tension, not fully locking out, really focusing on at the top portion of the rep. Also, I'm thinking about it in my head, squeezing those dip bars together. Remember, they're stagnant. Those dip bars are not going to move anywhere. But if you think about bringing your hands closer together and actively squeeze at the top, you're going to get a stronger contraction of the chest. And here is set three, you're going to see I really slow down, really focusing on the negatives here, really trying to keep the muscle under tension. Like I said, muscle building principles. So there's ways to manipulate loads to make it feel heavier. You guys know I could dip well over 150 pounds, and here I'm making 50 pounds challenging, right? That's how you stimulate a target muscle group. That ha that's how you f really focus on stimulation as opposed to max effort. Which again, max effort is when you're really trying to force max motor recruitment when you're really lifting heavy loads. So three sets of, I said, 10 to 15 reps. I hit 13, 13, 12 of the weighted dips. Then I had my ring set up and I came over to a ring fly now. Remember, a fly motion is going to allow the humerus to adduct the body. Remember, adduction means you're bringing the arm across the midline abduction means you're bringing the arm away from the midline so bringing the arm across the midline allows for that peak contraction of the chest as well and here we're really trying to focus on nice controlled again this is almost a complete chest isolation exercise body weight style even though you know the core is engaged and everything the target muscle group here 90 percent of the effort is being placed on the chest with the other 10 percent probably on the delts and the core right so again, three sets, 10 to 12 reps, really focusing on, again, squeezing at the top and really focusing on that slow, controlled eccentric, feeling those muscle fibers stretch. I want you to think about embracing the burn, right? When you feel the burn, that's when the set's going to become uncomfortable, and that's when most people are going to want to quit. That's when I want you to keep pushing. That's when I want you to embrace, say, one more, one more, one more. Fight through that pain. That's where the growth happens. But again, when it comes to strength, you're really not going to feel that burn because the reps are going so quickly and the sets are lasting, you know, 30 seconds. We're opposed to I'm doing a set of 10 to 12 that lasts over a minute here. When I'm doing a set of 5 or 6 with heavy load, it's like I said, it's done in 20 to 30 seconds. So that time under tension isn't there to accumulate that metabolic stress which causes that lactic acid buildup. Another crucial element to this workout, which I spoke about in the previous video, are the rest times now. Now when you're focusing on building muscle, stimulating muscle, feeling that lactic acid buildup, rest times become more and more important. I'm focusing on, I didn't take longer than a 90 second break on any of these fly exercises and on the dips, I did 90 seconds and on the third set I rested two minutes before getting into it. So really, you know, building up fatigue letting it slightly disperse and then getting right back into the set right that's how you're going to place constant stress on the muscle remember you got metabolic stress mechanical tension and muscle damage mechanical tension is heavy loads metabolic stress is time under tension a lot of build up a lot of build up of fluids muscle damage is slow eccentrics time under tension so we're getting a lot of time under tension muscle damage here and a lot of metabolic stress by staying on the bar and on the sets for so long all right after those three sets of ring flies now we're getting into some volume work body weight style again we're doing 20 down push so remember you have to learn to manage the overall volume and the intensity the intensity meaning the load is not that high in the case of this workout 
right? So I'm able to accumulate a lot more volume. I hit three sets of 10 plus reps on dips, three sets of 10 plus reps on flies. I'm already 60 reps in. Now I'm going for another 200 plus reps here, 20 down, 210 reps. Again, not longer than a 45 second break in between any set here. And I sped this up here, so I didn't want to make you guys watch the whole 20 down. But I got the 20 down done in just about 11 minutes at the end of the routine for a burnout, right? When the muscle is fully tied or already, already stressed from the heavy weighted dip sets, the slow uh, isolation fly work, the chest is going to be super fatigued. Now getting into this volume work, keeping the brakes very short is going to help you build up that work capacity, build up that strength endurance, and also you're going to be working on that hypertrophy because, again, the sets are going to get harder and they're going to get closer and closer to failure as you rest less and less. So full body weight chest workout. I'm going to let it play out with some music for you guys. Look, building muscle is not hard. Building strength is not hard. But the training stimulus and the training aspect of both are different, right? If you want to build strength, the rest periods are longer than the actual work. Here I'm doing a lot more work than resting, right? That's muscle, that's muscle building. As well, I'm getting a lot better cardio cardiovascular benefits in this type of workout also. Very glycogen demanding, because remember, we're going through a lot of repetitions, right? So make sure you're carved up and eating sufficient amount of fuel and protein to recover. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very simple ways to build muscle, guys. It's not tough, like I said. But the key thing, always remember, if you want to build muscle, you got to be in a surplus. If you're trying to lose weight, you got to be in a deficit. So try this routine out. You don't even got to do it with weighted dips. You can do everything body weight. You can literally slow down the repetitions. Do three second negative, one second pause on the bottom, one second concentric for each dip rep to make it that much more challenging. Try it out. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions, what you want to see next. I appreciate all the support, guys, and enjoy the rest of the work.